So are there like maybe three key factors that are considered would put a man at higher risk for prostate cancer? Like in women in breast cancer, there are sort of three key, you know, f first degree relative, obesity, excess alcohol. Correct. So I look a lot, although I'm not a breast cancer expert, I look a lot in that literature mm -hmm. because there's a lot of overlap yes. with the pathology of the disease and even how you treat it from a natural perspective. Yes. So actually, so those high risks are very similar to to, to women's uh, high risk for breast cancer, and they include African-American men. So African-American men are more likely to develop prostate cancer, more likely to develop advanced prostate cancer, and more likely to, to die from prostate cancer than any other race. Mm. So that's very important. Yes. My um, theory, it, in part, you never I have way too much respect for all cancers to say this is the reason, um, but I can say that African-American people are severely low in vitamin D in their blood, uh, more so than anyone else. So my suspicion is that um, one little tiny pill of vitamin D at about four to 5,000 units a day in that particular group, one can make the argument for everyone, but specifically in that particular group can be ev valuable in terms of perhaps uh, managing or even preventing many things like prostate cancer.